Today I'm on Dove Bank Road in Little Lever and behind me we've got a 130 year old cottage that's a lot bigger on the inside than it first appears from the outside. Now Dove Bank Road itself is in the heart of Little Lever and it's a lovely quiet cul-de-sac that you probably don't even know exists and it sits just between Radcliffe Road and Park Road. And in terms of the cottage itself, well not only will it appeal to somebody looking for that quaint, quirky lifestyle, but it'll also appeal, I think, to a growing family. And that's because it's got two reception rooms, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it's even got a fourth room, currently used as a study, but it could equally be used as another bedroom. Now the first thing to know is that this was originally two cottages that have since been knocked through into one and I was really surprised when I first came here by just how big it is. When you enter, you enter the first of two reception rooms and immediately you get a feel for the history and the quirkiness of this cottage. I absolutely love what's going on in here. Check out that feature fire surround and how about that metal spiral staircase leading up to the first floor. That's the first of two staircases as well. I might add more on that shortly. You've also got some of the original ceiling beams in here. How about that cottage style door that will lead us through into the kitchen. And it's in here where you start to appreciate just how big the cottage actually is. So we've got the kitchen area just behind me here, plenty of work surfaces, loads of units, you've even got space for the range cooker. And then as we turn around through these doors, we step through into what would have been the second cottage. And this is now used as a dining area. There's that second staircase that I'm talking about that'll lead us up to the first floor. And we've also got some French doors behind me taking us out to the garden, but we'll save that for last of all. And just over there, tucked in the corner, well that takes us through to the second reception room. And this might be my favourite room of all. It's currently used as a bit of a music room, which I think is great. Again, much like the first reception room, you've got some of those feature ceiling beams, and a lovely fire surround. Both of these rooms, incidentally, are front facing, they're both really good sizes. So coming up the staircase from the dining area, that brings us to the central landing area on the first floor. And from here, we do get access to all of the bedrooms and the bathroom. The first room that we come across is this great double room behind me. It's currently set up as a twin room and it's front facing. It's a really good sized room, that one. And just on the other side of the landing there, that's where we find the third bedroom, which again is a really good size, but it's a single room, that one. Further down the hallway, just behind me here, this is the main family bathroom. And there's no getting away from the fact that it's perhaps not as modern as some of the other rooms, but I think it's absolutely fine and it's not something you're gonna to need to do straight away. And just through here, well this brings us to the master bedroom and it's through here that I wanna pay a little bit more attention. It's absolutely spectacular. I certainly wasn't expecting it. It's a really good size. Notice the staircase just behind me here. This is that metal set of stairs that leads up from the first reception room. So it comes straight up into the master bedroom. It's also got a lovely modern ensuite shower room just there. This room's front facing as well. And then over in the corner, just behind this staircase, well, this is that study that I was talking about, or it's currently used as a study. But I'm told that when the lady who owns this property, uh, when she originally bought it, it was marketed as a fourth bedroom. So I think that it could be used as perhaps a walk-in wardrobe, or it could even be a nursery straight off your master bedroom. And then last of all, stepping outside, this is the rear garden. Now it's a low maintenance, manageable size, so if you're not somebody who's into mass gardening, then this is gonna be absolutely ideal. But what does impress me most is the fact that it's so nice and private, it's not overlooked. 